Tim Clockerty, Mike Robertson, Ted Valentine on the whistle. A 5-0 start with a win tonight would be Wake's best since 2014. Deacons have been scorching it from the floor in their 4-0 start. LaRavia in the paint. Musius a three, and the Deacons lead early. Williamson out front, going to work against Brandon Stroud. Musius tries another three, and it's 6-0. Keep an eye on him tonight, zero in the white. Stroud in the corner, Rogers, and one. A flyby from Williams. It's a three and a chance for the rare four-point play. The contest, the closeout was fast. Jump shot was pure. Let's see where the contact happened. Yeah, it did happen on the right shooting hand. Rogers in the Owls. Stroud in the front court, passed up on an open three. Youngblood a fall away. Chris, Chris Youngblood, including 71 and 19 against the Southern Conference. Musius tries again. He's got all nine of the weight points. We'll dive into a little bit of the success he's had in two years, albeit without a lot of wins, to get Kennesaw State to a point where they feel like they got a chance to challenge in the A-Sun. Step back three by Stroud is good. Coach Abdul Rahim told me before the game, we have to contest the threes and clean up the defensive glass. Three ball, Musius again. He had a big game against North Carolina. Was it 27? That's correct. On the drive, Burden a runner. Oregon State with Wayne Tinkle. Yep. Uh, Penn State, LSU. There's C scoring inside. Absolutely. Wes, he hit a big time shot to win a championship in high school at Oak Hill, a tipping at the buzzer. Fall away by Youngblood, his second field goal. Every minute that goes by, if they can get a stop, that's where the confidence builds. C on the drive and a second basket. Virginia Tech okay. and Pitt. And I'm going to tell you about BC at home. When they're a dog, they play like an alpha dog. There you go. Kick out three. Good. Three ball from Case and Jennings. Here's Whip attacking for the Deacons. Uh, Carter Witt's great in the open floor when it comes to assist. Williamson a stop and pop. Adrian. Kennesaw State's gone about three minutes without a field goal. Turn it over there. Here's Hildreth. The lob. Lorania on the back end. The big play so far here in this opening half. Hildreth to Laravia. Deeks up 11. And Steve Forbes was an assistant coach to Bruce Pearl. Bruce Pearl learned that from Dr. Tom Davis at Iowa. There's another turnover. Laravia, Witt on the drive and scores. As they put it in play on the baseline with Rodgers. On the drive all the way through and the score for Spencer Rogers. Stops the run by the Deacons. Look at the spacing for Wake Forest. They have five guys behind the line. LaRavia double pivot and a score. LaRavia first team all conference or second team all conference in the Missouri Valley at Indiana State. On the drive, DeMond Robinson, the Murray State transfer, his first points. Well, maybe Georgia State. They're taking a hard look at Kennesaw State. A lot of Atlanta area flavor on the roster. LaRavia, meanwhile, is starting to take over. It's coming a row here for Wake Forest. When I say he's a mismatch, because we saw him put it on the deck from the outside, that was a low post back you down with Kevin McHale-like footwork. And Kaysen Jennings answers with a fall way off the baseline. That time turned over to Rodgers. He's got a great fake game, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Burden, Peterson on Walton, and gets the shot. I don't think that's ever going to change. No, good point. Three ball out front, Hildreth. Wow. Cameron Hildreth, just his third three of the year. Seems like Kennesaw State can't score at the rim like they did early in the game. Mm. See? Turning on Peterson with the right hand and scores. Nicely done, Hadeem C. He didn't have a post game years ago. It was a drop off and dunk game. It was a lob catcher. He's improved. Out front, three ball, Case and Jennings. Wake going for 40 with two minutes to go. They average 86. There's the drive in the bucket. Hildreth now. 
Spencer averaging almost a dozen a game. And Robinson a step back for his second field goal. He's got four. There was a period where you thought that Wake was going to blow it wide open. Kennesaw State, they just put their head down and play. C has had a very nice first half. Fourth field goal, eight points. And 20 points in the paint for Wake Forest tonight. Burden on the drive. Robinson again, and it falls in. Damon Robinson. Give him a big boost going into halftime. C. He'll gun for three and hit. That kind of half for Hadeem C. Tim Duncan. Oh, you are so good. <laughs> That's why I post about you on Twitter, man. <laughs> Dallas Walton gets the basket. His first points of the game. Junior college. There's Robinson going to work again. Walton turned it away. Yeah, he's like a brick wall in there. Seven feet, 250. LaRavia and Alondis is on the board. Williams wants to look and can't finish with a right hand. Rodgers ahead for Stroud in the layup. When you're on the road, you want to stay within striking distance, 8, 10, 12. Uh, now it's ballooning up to 17. you got to be careful. Yep, Springs, nice handoff. Chinning scores at the rim. I thought he brought great continuity mm -hmm. to Wake Forest. He moved the ball. He defended. What a broken. skip pass. LaRavia. Alonzo Williams with that skip. Yep. That's what Steve Forbes said today. He's a great skip passer. LaRavia's first three of the game and an answer from Cason Jennings at the other end. He's got 13. Here's Burden attacking. And misses on the backside for Williams and Wake Forest to run. Live. Oh, my goodness. When you get too close, they put it on the deck and play off of two feet in the paint. They're well drilled. Case and Jennings, tough shot in traffic against Hildreth. Here's Jennings. Two on the shot clock, turned over to Williams. Hildreth back, and Williams punches it home. Second half. Volume has turned all the way up, isn't it? Robinson, friendly roll off the back iron. Has been good, it's going to continue to be good. Jumper off. Here's Hildreth playing with Dallas Walton back on the floor. The big in there for Coach Forbes. Hildreth all the way to the basket. Ten to shoot. And here's Rogers. Nicely done. Spencer Rogers has seven. Look at that. Walton. And Rogers the rebound of the miss. Look at here. Young blood. Finds a path to the rack. A couple of stops. Kennesaw State can cut it below 10. LaRavia caught in a double team. Williams sets and hits. Davian Williamson running the offense. Here's Williams stroking a three. Stroud. And here's Williams leading a three on two with a look away. And Musius and one. There's Burden fighting through again. Walton got a piece of it. Walton working on LaRue. And one with a right hand. Dallas Walton. Wake Forest has got to have what before they get into full ACC play in your mind? Three ball and one. That's Youngblood. Another triple. Wake Forest is better than a year ago. And they impress me. Now, the ACC is not strong at the top. Another three by Jennings. Yep, that gives him a career high, by the way. I'm not sure about I, that. Here's I, Walt. I have to research my own. <laughs> LaRavia, the tap follow. He's got 18 now in the ball game. How about a one from the top? Back rim miss. Williams and a fresh 20. Williamson, yes. <laughs> Williamson rimmed it out. Now just one for seven. Here's Peterson to catch and dunk at the other end for the Owls. He had uh, Matthew Marsh eight points in 11 minutes, his first action last Saturday against North Carolina A&T. And there's Williams scoring and one at the basket. I think four out of his last five games, 
He's had double doubles. Mm -hmm. He's a talented young player. Williams on the drive. Big second half for Alondis Williams. And this is Taylor trying to get baseline. Skips for Witt. Three ball. He's got a, a savviness about him on the court on the offensive end. Here's Marsh with the turnover. Witt scoops Van Beveren. They're going to be a scrappy and tough team in the A Sun. No question about it. Ball game ends. Wake Forest, 92. Kennesaw State, 61.